Hey Simlis, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a speed build with Discovery University and today we are doing a speed build of a cafe. If you don't know previous videos, I'm not sure if I actually spoke about this, but I always wanted to build a cafe but I never had like the perfect place because Windenburg is curated by cafes. You have one in the new town and one in the old town while Bright... Brightchester? No, stop, not Brightchester. Um, Brindlemill? Brindleton Bay, that's the name. Brindleton Bay really didn't uh, need a cafe because it looks like it needs more restaurants or more lounges. Whereas um, San Maishuno, it's a perfect place to put a cafe, but most of the lots there have been taken by like some other communal thingies. It's because, yeah. So I thought Brychester was the perfect place, especially that was like this one starter home which was kind of useless um it's a very useless starter home actually i don't know why would you come to a university world and live in a starter home but anyway we replaced that with a beautiful cafe this is called the brightchester honeydew cafe it's kind of like this modern cafe the the whole town is really old and then all of a sudden you have like this really modern cafe hold on i'm gonna turn off the fan so that you guys can hear me better um so it's a modern cafe obviously um, it has a modern look. It looks totally different from the entire town. The entire town looks like this really old historical kind of town. Whereas the Honeydew Cafe was really modern, really like Apple storage. You know how Apple, like Apple, Apple has the way with the store design. So I kind of, I kind of like the idea of having like this porch area. And by the way. The new wall system, what is not, column, the new column, multi-story columns were pretty cool. But I have small issues. I have very tiny issues. I get that the roofs are meant to be like a barrier so that you can't extend. But like, it annoys me because like there are moments where I want it to reach slightly above the roof but it can't. So that where my problem starts and yeah. But I'm really happy for it because now also like half walls also get to... I can level it with the half wall so it wouldn't look sloop sloop it. It wouldn't look sloop it. <laughs> it would look more like logical. And I also thought of having like a mezzanine area because like like come on, you have to look down. And I kinda took inspiration from like modern day Starbucks. Starbucks there are a lot of Starbucks opening in Malaysia and the Starbucks looks totally different with from how they originally look like they kind of have like this split level which i love so much it's just that i have no effort to do split levels split levels are kind of complicated and in the sims you really can't do split leveling the way you would like to do it plus it for some reason in my game i'm not sure if you guys are experiencing this maybe it only affects for players on low graphics but basic not low graphics high not ultra high but high because when there's a split level especially when you go to the what's the acting the movie studio or whatever it's called you actually realize like the lighting of the flow is actually using the exterior lighting instead of the interior one so it kind of annoys me because like yeah like that looks so ugly and another issue was that when it snows if it snows in that world that whole area would be snow i even if it's covered this is snow and it doesn't make sense and I really wish now I should have complained this on I should have like f uh, report a bug but you know me I don't like to report bugs like those take a lot of effort but there's actually a lot of bugs also that I found mainly um, there was really this one bug I kind of find it really annoying it was the bug uh, the sims can't part themselves properly previous previously not previously the sims they walk through walls they walk through furnitures and it annoys me so much because it looks it i mean they i mean it, it's a good thing because they take the shortest part to get to their location but the issue is because they legit walk through objects sometimes their object their the the sims can suddenly all of us just randomly <coughs> clear throat uh all of a sudden, the sim would just stand on the table and you never understand how was that possible. Like, it was so random. Like, it's so common also for me to find that the sim's doing that now. But yeah. 
So uh, for the cafe, I wanted to go for like this teal, this minty color. Actually, originally, I wanted to go for purple or green. The green for Starbucks, purple just for random. But there wasn't really nice any nice chair, and I was like, this table, this high chair was really nice. So I put it in the high chair. Um, if you want to download this on the gallery, it's actually on the gallery. And shocking to my shocking body, um, you know me, my gallery doesn't get that as popular. It's so, it's just so sad, so quiet. And all of a sudden, I just uploaded this for one day, not even 24 hours. I already reached 100 downloads and I was like, eh, I was like, eh, this, this, this is not me. This is someone else. Now, yes, I did build this, but w when I get 100 downloads, I get like, uh, is this really something I build? I feel like I just did not, because how did I even get 100? Like, it's so rare for me to get 100. I did, fun fact, I actually did reach, how much did I reach? I think 400 downloads, or maybe, I want to say one th 1k, but at the same time, like 400 possibly, because like, um, there was this one time I built a BTS, D BTS dormitory, and I didn't know how popular it get. Turns out it was super popular to the point I got 400 downloads. It's one of my first, my third builds, oh no, second, second build on the gallery, which you can go and check out, which questions my entire life. Like, so much of it, like... How much of BTS uses, how much of BTS stands are there? It was such an ugly build, so like, I was so bad when I was building. That was like at the start of the year. Now, slightly better. Still not the best, but slightly better. Um, I would like to thank Little Simsy for t teaching me how to build. She's a great builder. She taught me how to make a box look like a fancy box, and I highly suggest you checking her out. <laughs> So, the idea of a cafe also, because like, I wanted the idea of like, because when you go to Starbucks, I'm sure everywhere has this, but when you go to Starbucks, you realise college students, university students, will sit in that cafe and study. So I was like, okay, we give it the, the two new traits, which was the university students hangout and the study area, whatever it's called. Um... This is definitely something also you will find near university. When you come to Malaysia, what you will realize, okay, beside you, you have the university. You have University Sunway or University, uh, University, what else? Uh, university of Management and Science or you have um, University of Wogenwell, whatever it's called. Um, and then you have University of Unitar, is that the name? And then you have um, Kuala Lumpur University. And then you have... Like, you have all this university. And then you realize beside it, you have a mall. Beside Sunway University, you have Sunway Pyramid Shopping Center. Beside Management and Science University, you have Aeon Mall Shah Alam. And then uh, beside um, Unitar, you have Paradigm. And beside... Um, uni KL, you have Mid Valley, and it doesn't make sense. Like, I mean, I get they want to run business, but like at the same time, why? Like, are you guys that desperate to open? There's so much of malls in Malaysia, it never makes sense. Probably because of the amount of college that makes the mall open, but <sighs> don't you guys have a life or something? Like, like, yeah, but um, but I love the malls, the malls are great. <laughs> I'm so excited to go, f I'm excited for Christmas, I just opened a tree, I'm planning, I actually recorded it as a video, planning to edit it somewhere around time, and yeah, um, I have like four videos to edit, I have a different fame, <laughs> I'm so sad, okay, different fame, I recorded episode four, as you know, I wanted it to add an episode five, episode five is already in its planning phase, it's good. It's probably going to recording phase if I decide to play tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm deciding to play on Discovery University. So, like, uh, I don't want to end different fame. It's such a good series. <sighs> Stay hydrated. Different fame is such a good series, but at the same time, I have to say goodbye to it at one point. I'm speaking super fast, as you know. 
But like different fame. Oh, I love that. Then it's starting to get boring, to be honest. But that series was a great series. Also, another thing was that um, about different fame. The characters went through a makeover because I didn't want them to look the same since episode one. Because come on, you have to give them a makeover. Plus, the storyline, there's a storyline, obviously, I planned. Um, they have a storyline and their outfits suit their storyline more. I will upload the final version on the gallery, which includes also um, the updated Vanessa, the updated Paka, and... Sammy and Cupcake. Oh wait, you guys don't know who Sammy and Cupcake yet. <gasps> oh my, you guys don't know who Sammy and Cupcake yet. Oh, I can spoil this for you. Ha ha. Sorry, I spoiled it for you. I probably shouldn't, cause then you should w- you will watch the video and I give views. But now I'm an idiot. Yeah. So anyway, there was this balcony here at the back. I wanted to put seats, but then I was like, this is the balcony behind here is perfect for only one seat, which is also really awkward. Cause why would you want to go outside and just sit by itself so then i just just said it change if you see a lot of black screen it's basically me just checking if the video was recording because when it gets too smooth i start to get panicked because my computer is never smooth um so the bench i decided to put a bench instead because i just didn't like the idea of having one. i really wish sims actually used the upstairs i get so annoyed when you go to the blue velvet or the like um Especially the museum in <laughs> the museum in Delta Valley. I just don't like the idea where the Sims will stay downstairs and not move upstairs. It's just so annoying. Oh my god, the music started playing. <laughs> oh god, this music is great. This is, if you don't know what music it is, this is the Sims 4 Discovery University theme song. My favorite song in the entire universe right now. Probably played this for seven times already yeah i'm nuts um so in front here i actually wanted to put like a little fountain but then um there wasn't any good fountains in the game so i was like you know i'll just put a planter and blast it was like this foxbury planters i kind of imagine a foxbury student actually kind of came and give this place a glow up i'm planning on renovating um some other places i am interested in opening another uh a gym in foxbury i just ha- i just have that feeling to open a gym for some reason so considering it but um i actually don't know when screenshot starts because oh just editing this video was such a pain um i don't want to talk about it but um uh, the edit the screenshots will come in any second or minute i don't know I actually really don't know when the screenshot's coming, so I think I'm just gonna end this part here. So thank you guys for watching this video, stay tuned for a few more days and you will see the cast video for my Discovery University Sims, if you don't know the series name, it's actually gonna be called Minari Gading. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video, if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!